in this video we are going to georeference a scanned map. This video is part of the second edition of the book QGIS for Hydrological Applications from Locate Press. When you go to the data folder of the course data, you can open the JPEG in external viewer by clicking right on it. And you can use any picture viewer for that because uh, the JPEG is not uh, a GIS format yet. And if we zoom in on the map, we can see that there is a coordinate grid with connected coordinates in easting and northing, and that we can use the nodes of the grid to sample so-called ground control points to georeference this map. You can also see here on the map that uh, there's a description of um, what projections are used. And it says here that the projection and 1000 meter grid is zone 18 of Universal Transfers Mercator, that's UTM. It also says that there's a 1927 North American datum used. The other information is all kinds of uh, transformations or other uh, coordinate systems printed on this map. Here we can look up these keywords at uh, the spatialreference.org website. We use the keywords UTM, 18N and NAD27. And there we find that uh, the result EPSG 26718 corresponds best to our search. We need to write it down or copy it to uh, be used later in QGIS. Let's go back to QGIS and uh, from the raster menu we choose the georeferencer. You can uh, maximize this new window because we will work in this window for the next uh, minutes. And we choose uh, this first icon to open our scanned map, the JPEG image. And here you see the full map. And uh, the first thing we need to do now is to change the transformation settings. First, the transformation type. These are the calculations, the equations used for the transformation with the ground control points that we give. If uh, you don't know what to choose, start with a linear one, which is a simple rotation and scaling. For the resampling method, we choose cubic because we want a smooth backdrop. If you want to do calculations, choose the nearest neighbor. We also choose the output coordinate reference system which uh, is the EPSG code that we uh, looked up with spatialreference.org and that's the projection that belongs to the grid and we can see that indeed this projection is used over uh, our study area here which is uh, Mount Marcy, New York. For the rest we uh, keep uh, the defaults. It will by default calculate uh, a map with the file name underscore modified.tiff and we check the box to load in QGIS when the calculation is done. Then we click OK. So now we can uh, add our ground control points. So I zoom in to a node and I read the uh, coordinates that are printed on the side of the map. And you need to zoom in very well because the more accurate we do this, the more accurate the result will be. You can also delete and move the points with these icons. So I add a point. I can still use the pen and zoom buttons or the scroll on the mouse. And I simply type the coordinates of the node that I uh, have added here. And it plays this red dot. In the table below you can find the file coordinates in the source xy, the destination xy that is in the projected uh, coordinate system, and some uh, error statistics which are not yet available. We will see later when they come available. I place the second point on a node in the upper right corner and here I also type the coordinates that I read from the side. Note that here the zeros are omitted. So it's in kilometers, but of course we continue in meters. And then we click OK. Let's go to a third point in the lower right. It's placed here. Also here, read it from the side. And you see now this uh, red line, that's an indication of the uh, error. We have three points and then it can calculate uh, the, the error. And the more points we add, the more accurate this uh, calculation is. But also more, it will cover up for um, errors or um, 
irregularities in the map. So normally we would choose more than uh, four points. It's really a minimum. So here I add the fourth point. And again, I add the coordinates. And now we have four points. And the red line is uh, quite uh, big and it exists at all our points. So if you have one that is off, you can uh, delete or uh, move a point, replace it. Um, here in this case, the points are correctly placed, but uh, still the error is uh, quite large. I can uh, change it here to a first order polynomial to see if it goes better. That's a, not only a rotation or scaling, but a fit of a polynomial. And we see now that uh, the error is within the pixel. We can also see that here in the uh, mean error, which is 0 0.7. So that's good enough. So I'll perform the geo uh, referencing and uh, it asks for a transformation here. If you see the screen and um, you don't know what to do, you always choose the first, the default one. Uh, but for some cases, you might need a different transformation. These are different equations used to uh, make the transformation of projections. And here we see the uh, end result of the georeferencing. And we see uh, that our map has been uh, scaled and projected in EPSG 26718, which you also see in the lower right. And that is um, because it's the first map that we load in this project. It will take that projection as the projection of the whole project, which is called the on-the-fly reprojection. Every other layer that we add will have that uh, same projection. <music>